Welcome back to NBA Cinema. So I want to talk a little bit more about this Lakers uh, thing with J.J. Reddick becoming the head coach. And one of the names that's been floating around is Rajon Rondo joining the coaching staff and also bringing in Chris Paul as the point guard to play alongside LeBron James. And we know the history with Rajon Rondo and Chris Paul. And it would be funny if Chris Paul had to play with Draymond knowing their history last year and then going to play with Rajon Rondo this year. Now, these type of things happen in the past, you know, the 80s, 90s NBA. You would see this all the time. Individuals who have an issue with each other ended up on the same team a few years later. And a lot of times, you know, as a competitor, if that player is on your side, then y'all going to ride with each other as hard. But, you know, Rondo being in a coaching position and Chris Paul being in a player position, it's a different dynamic, and it would definitely have to be a discussion had because of the bad blood and the history that these two have, which was, you know, at the core of it was competition and fighting for some of the same things, you know. And so I thought about that dynamic. That's going to be interesting to see how all that develops, if they even get Chris Paul, if Rajon joins the coaching staff, et cetera, et cetera. Well, um, Udonis Haslam and Kendrick Perkins, they have some concerns about, I guess, the locker room and LeBron James podcast with J.J. Redick and some different things, and also AD's happiness. Now, Perkins, he talked about would AD be happy, you know, with bringing in JJ? Because it was reports out there that that wasn't necessarily um, AD's first choice. But Sham said that, um, you know, JJ reached out to, to AD after taking the job or, you no, know, even before, because he's been operating as the head coach for over the better part of, of last week, right? So um, he's been reaching out to the players and talking to them. And him and, AD done had a sit down and it's all good, um, according to reports, according to Shams. And um, also, Udonis Haslam is just wondering, like, is the podcast going to make people in the locker room question, is JJ just there to be the voice of LeBron, what they've discussed? Because obviously they got the podcast and that relationship is different. So this is the first time we're ever going to see a coach and a player have a podcast while trying to coach grown men in the NBA. So uh, I will be on the lookout for that and just, you know, the chemistry issues with the team and, and some of the camaraderie within the locker room, what we'll be able to see spill out over on the sideline or on the court or whatever. But we're going to listen to what they had to say. Let's speak. I, I want to I see how it goes with Anthony Davis because I'm going to give it to the All-Star break. If Anthony Davis is, if JJ Redick is not thriving and Anthony Davis is not playing at an elite level and he's not happy, I wouldn't be surprised if he if he wants out of LA. To be honest, which I'm gonna give it to All Star break to see how this go though. But I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say this though, Perk man, you called it out, man. Bringing in a guy like Raj, Rajon Rondo and his relationship with Anthony yeah. Davis, that's probably the smartest thing that that JJ can do because now you have a guy that's gonna constantly be in AD's ear. You got a guy that's gonna be a communicator between mm -hmm. you and what AD needs, and you know AD trusts is LeBron, and trust is huge in today's NBA. Trust is maybe the biggest thing that you gotta have for your locker room and your guys to get your guys on the same page, and he trusts Rondo already. I mean, they're going to question where the message is coming from. They're going to question what's the intent of everything. I mean, we understand how great of a basketball mind that J.J. Redick is, but we also understand how great of a basketball mind that LeBron James has. And we also understand that these NBA players today spend 95% of the time focusing on the things they can't control. You can't control the relationship that LeBron has with, with J.J. Redick. You can't control the plays that J.J. Mm -hmm. Redick is going to run. You can't control the schemes or the defense that J.J. is going to run. But I guarantee everything that J.J. says, somebody's going to question if LeBron James has something to do with it on the back end. That's just how it's going to be. And I told J.J. that to his face when I saw him in the finals. It's nothing about J.J. that I don't <laughs> think he can't do it. It's nothing about J.J. that I don't think he's capable. He has a bright future. He has a great basketball mind. But this is what the NBA is today. Guys that worry about things they can't not control yeah. that's why i kept a job that's why i kept a job for five extra years <laughs> yeah man so um looking at that that is true you know people are gonna wonder what part of this is jj reddick being a head coach and what part of this has been led by lebron james because i'm gonna tell you like this man this all looks crazy right now the way it played out with dan hurley um looking like a fake attempt to hire 
They obviously what didn't even want him. They wanted J.J. Reddick. Then it was rumor that J.J. Reddick had moved on. Now he's hired. I don't believe in all these emotional roller coasters that the media takes us on. You know, lead us up and down, up and down, and think, okay, J.J., that ship has sailed, and now he's the coach all of a sudden. Well, what happened to him not wanting to feel like a second choice? See, people were just throwing reports out there to throw people off, but I was looking at J.J. Reddick in this podcast the whole time. I ain't pay attention to none of that Dan Hurley stuff. None of that really moved me, because until you hire somebody, it is what it is. Um, so yeah, that was a job interview for JJ Reddick. Pretty much that podcast. It's wild that it's happening right in your face. Uh, I don't, man. David Stern. <laughs> I ain't, I ain't even gonna go down that rabbit hole. But man, Adam Silver again. This is another move right in his face that shows how little power he has as far as like the tampering and anything like that. Like he's, he's a soft commissioner, man, and. Um, yeah, I, I really don't think I really don't think they see him as an authoritarian like that. Um, but yeah, man, uh, this thing I think JJ Reddit has a brilliant basketball mind. But again, leading the troops and, and the troops that have veterans like LeBron and AD. It's not the same as like a young Brad Stevens coming in coaching a young Jalen Brown, Jason Tatum, who were basically teenagers when they got there. Um, it's different to coach them in the superstardom than them already be superstars, have their egos on swole, and now you know you're the coach that they can get fired at any time. You know, it's better to coach these players while they're achieving that superstar status and you're already there than trying to coach them after they already have it. Because I'm going to tell you this, J.J. Redick has looked at to come in and win and win at a very high clip. Um, So if he can't deliver on that, looks like the players aren't happy. You know, looks like LeBron ain't happy after a while then, you know, J.J. won't be there very long. This four-year deal will get bought out, and he'll be out the door after his first season, you know. Or if he starts off too bad, you know, midway through the season. So this thing just looks crazy to me how it all came together. That podcast now is looking so different than what they intended it to be or what they said they intended it to be in the beginning. You know, talking about the basketball in a real way, uh, pretty much like a shot at Stephen A. and all these other shows. Um, you look at the way J.J. Reddick defended LeBron against Stephen A. several times, um, and, and we're going to do a video on that. We're going to go back and look at that, man. So I ain't going to say too much about that right now, but let me know what you think about this in the comment section. Guys, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Till next time, peace.